Hey, hey, everybody, everybody. Welcome to the Homeboys Podcast, where we review the latest and the greatest movies. Um, I guess all time for me most of the time. <laughs> this week, we have a special guest, the You Relationship Coach, Miss Siobhan Carter. She's going to be, you know, she's a new homegirl of the, uh, the uh, homeboys, and she's going to be giving the women's perspective. You want to introduce yourself, Miss Carter? Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we got also, you know who it is, my man. Hey, yo, what's How good? How you doing, folks? How you doing? Last but not least, we got my man, Tioma. T, what's up? How y'all doing, man? I'm good. Again, I don't know where uh, my man Stocks Curry's at. You know, maybe he missed out on this one again. He, he might be doing some other stuff, which is cool. We're going to try to give him a, you know, a few more seconds in order for him to get on. Get on board. Hopefully he can get on board, but we can uh, really kick this thing off. I hope everybody, you know, ready. We about to have a great discussion. <laughs> hey, it should be good with you and Siobhan. Huh? I'm, 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 I'm here for y'all this time. <laughs> hey, I, I know the two ends of the spectrum. I'm here to see it. I mean, this is what I'm here for right here. Yeah? You, yeah, assume, yeah. I was, you assume I was going to be just that bad? <laughs> no, not just that bad, just that good. <laughs> Because we're going we gonna to agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. ah, I'm trying to. Oh, it's coming through your phone. Yeah, yeah. I sound good. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, like let's, 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 let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Uh. We we got the um this week is the movie She Hates Me. It's a Spike Lee joint. Came out in July two thousand and uh, July two thousand and four. You know, it's actually uh it's about a uh, a guy who actually was a pharmaceutical rep. Now the guy actually uh name is uh, played by Anthony Mackie. Name is John Her. Who said Henry? Yeah, uh, co host co <laughs> co actor uh Curry Washington. Now, it takes place in New York. The movie kicks off with them uh, in the office. And immediately from the beginning of the movie, uh, one of his co-workers end up committing suicide. Now, upon committing suicide, he actually left a briefcase on uh, Anthony Mackie's desk, uh, uh, John Henry. He actually met, left, left a suitcase on his desk uh, uh, for some evidence. Uh, Anthony Mackie, had the character, he couldn't uh, leave the office at night. He ended up stumbling up and finding out that they were destroying evidence also. I'm not going to say it was like a Ponzi scheme, but in somewhat, you know, he was destroying documents uh, um, that actually, I guess, that the government might find incriminating later on. So the guy, Anthony Mackie, ended up uh, looking at a, a CD of... His co-worker, the doctor, actually, of evidence of him saying that, you know, the medicine, which was supposed to be for HIV, actually would not work. So he's like, you know, we need some more times. But for the, uh, I guess, the COOs of the company, they thought, like, you know, the guy don't know what he's talking about. So, you know, they still going to go along with it. So my question to the uh, panel, which ended up happening was Anthony Mikey Curta end up, uh, he ended up telling basically felt like, you know, this might harm people, might injure people, you know, eventually. You know, Miss Siobhan, <laughs> this is your first day, so we're going to allow the lady to go first. Okay. You know, do you feel like you would have told if you was in that same position? Mm -mm. No, nope, I wouldn't have said nothing. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I wouldn't have said nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. So basically, you would have let it go on like it was? Look, I don't have nothing to do with that. Mm -mm. I would have resigned the next day. I don't want to be affiliated with the company. Let me take my little money and go. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> T, how you feel? Do you, would you would have you know, told? Like, I mean, this you possibly know my answer. Huh? Hell no. Hell no. I'm not telling. 
He was a goddamn whistleblower just like his father. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I ain't telling nothing. I mind my business. I'm going to mind my business. You see what happened when he went in that office? They threw his ass out. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, they want to mind my business. Out. I'm going to go ahead and mind my business. Hey, yo. What you'd have done? Would you have told? Knowing how treacherous the government is, I would have kept my mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't have told me, though. <laughs> you know how they, they'll kill you for their information. So I'm going to keep mm-hmm. my mouth closed, make my money, and go yeah. home. Okay, but, but let me let trouble. me do y'all. But y'all now let me explain this to I because I understand now. Uh, a, what he was a vice president, a vice president of a uh, major pharmaceutical company. They actually uh, they actually get paid between two hundred fifty, you know, four hundred thousand a year. But do y'all understand this? When people are whistleblowers, especially for pharmaceutical companies, the money that they make. Like if they get back restitution from something they done wrong, you actually get a percentage. So if you actually would have told, and let's say they made fifty million dollars, and they basically was like, you know, you whistleblower, you get five million. Do that change any one of y'all view? Hey yo, you whistleblowing, you get five million. What, what, do that change your view? <laughs> no, it still don't change my view. <laughs> I just told you how treacherous the government is. That <laughs> ain't gonna mean nothing. Hey, I don't even know how to whistle in real life. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not blowing no whistle. <laughs> I don't know for five for five hundred. You know, five hundred million. I mean, I mean for five million. You know that that do change the narratives. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just nah, but look what he had to go through. The people, yeah, I mean, you, you gotta go through they, stuff. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 they his accounts, he had no money. Like, it's just no, they just push you in a compromising situation, which he ended up in. So, uh uh-uh. uh, okay. One of the things that uh happened as the movie, you know, you see, you know, if y'all watch the movie, the guy actually lost his job. When he lost his job, uh, you know, he went home to his parents and his parents were arguing. One of the things that I always notice that people argue about on a consistent basis this day and age, people always say, um, you know, uh, why marriages don't last like they used to. Man, we watch how they argue back and forth. They got to call each other names. They got to stand, you know, all this crazy stuff about each other. You should die. You should leave. You should this. You should that. And one of the things that I, I this is it's just on topic, but kind of like in a different realm. Do y'all feel like a lot of those situations uh, uh, from back in the days, like do y'all feel like that was more of a, do y'all feel like that was more toxic or more tolerance when it comes to relationships that people more tolerated it back in the days or was it just toxic all the way around? Hey yo, how you feel? I feel like back in the day it was tolerated. They they tolerated each other. I don't know why they just put up with each other stuff. You got you, you remember? Uh, you got just remember certain things like the movie Fences. The dude bought a baby home and she she didn't get. She really she got mad at him, but she didn't. She she took care of the baby. She said it's not the baby fault. It was, okay. They just, they tolerated it. Yeah. Oh. Siobhan, how do you feel about that? Back back in the days, they lasted longer, based, and they argued, they was at each other's neck. How do you feel? I think it's a mixture of both. I think it was toxic because it was a whole lot of stuff going on back in the day with daddy having a whole nother family with, with other people. So it was toxic and then the arguing and stuff. But I think they tolerated each other just because, you know, just because of the teachings back then, like, you know, they taught that stay with your family, don't leave them no matter what, just act like you don't see it or whatever. So I think it's a mixture of both. Yeah, I was going, I was going, I'm going to piggyback off that. Like, I feel like it was, it was tolerated too, because back then it was oh, more so like family is everything. So no matter what you stick together and everything else will work itself out. That's basically how it was back then. But whereas nowadays you don't have people teaching that foundation anymore it's just like you can you can call your significant other a bitch and, and they ready to go immediately <laughs> you know what I'm saying? it could be the simplest thing like like anything and they ready to go so back then i it, it was stronger back then mm-hmm. no matter what was said that's that's how i feel about it just piggybacking off of what's the girl stacks curry 
Glad you could join the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm late, V. I'm late, V. <laughs> Glad you could join. Man, we was on the I topic he, of... I thought he was still in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah I'm, back was, up. I'm back on now. I'm back on, V. You back on? We was yeah. uh, topping in discussion. It was a part where the mother and father was arguing with each other. We was wondering, do you think it was a toxic trait back then or it was just tolerated? All right, what was the question again? The question about when the mother and father was uh, uh, arguing back and forth, the mother told him basically you can you can leave, or did they even tell each other you could kill yourself or something like that? Yeah, but then, but yeah. when he walked off and he got to talk to his son, he was like, "Oh, I know she loved me," and this, then the third. So I, I was confused. <laughs> well, sorry. Did you feel like that was love? Was, was well, you know did how we carry stuff back then was just tolerated, or was it still just a toxic thing? Uh, I think it was toxic. You wouldn't know. I think it was a toxic thing. You Look, said what? Young. You say what? No. You think it's toxic? You one of them it's ones toxic. I'm talking about that just get up and go. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yes, for my personal opinion, or just doing that scene. Your that personal scene. opinion? Huh? Uh, it was you toxic. About that. It was toxic. Yeah, it's toxic. Fuck it. It's toxic. <laughs> it's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic shit. <laughs> So yeah, so it, yeah. yeah. In my opinion, that was just that was just a toxic situation. I think we, I think like you said, they tolerated more back then because they the, the the family structure, the family dynamic back then was totally different. Now this day and age, it's it's all people looking back at that now and realizing how toxic that actually was. Yes. One yes. of the things, yeah. One of the things that people are talking about when it, when it comes to the movie, what ended up happening was that, uh, you know, Anthony Mackie character ended up losing his job. They ended up freezing his bank account. Curry Washington, which played his ex, ended up coming in. And Curry Washington, you know, gave him a proposal. The proposal was, which actually the movie was totally based around, the proposal was, you know, get me and my girlfriend pregnant and we will pay you five thousand a piece. First of all, <laughs> I guess it's because we have a woman on here. We got a we got a pot. We got a you know uh, uh, kind of two part question. Now for the men, if if the situation had came down to that, and you know like an ex or something like that would have came and asked you, hey, look, could you do this for me, Miss Miss Carter? If the if the roles were to revert, you know, reverse, and it's a two part when I feel like it's a woman up here. Could you have done this for a man if he needed you to have a kid for him, or could you have? Do you feel like they went the right way? I'm gonna go with Ao first. If we're gonna come back, <laughs> we got two part. <laughs> Ao, how do you feel? Could you have went there? <laughs> Being part of a secret nation that we can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, brother. That's right. I, I think we can. Go the way. No, but if somebody would have came up to me, I wouldn't have been as dramatic as him. He was like, he was like, no, I can't do this. I'd have been like, All right, can you double that? <laughs> I'd have asked for that on the break. 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 You don't even want it. She wants huh? a break, babe. Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, you asking for 10 apiece? Yeah. 10 apiece, hey, A.O.? Huh? You asking for 10 apiece? Yeah, on the break. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because hey, okay. One of them wanted it. One of them wanted it in the uh, cup, and I, that was yeah. right there. But now nah, I thought it was. I thought he was getting paid ten k already. Like, uh, no, no, no the, the, first, the first two only paid five thousand apiece. Only paid five. Uh, the first two only paid five thousand apiece. Yeah, I definitely. Um, best dad, lie. best. Go ahead. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I definitely would have signed up. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna sign them. I'm like, where do I sign? I ain't gotta take care of them. I ain't got to buy them nothing. I ain't. Oh. I you ain't gotta see them. Look, I gotta act like I'm Muslim on Christmas. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm two sided. I'm, I'm two sided on that. You know what I'm saying? Because on one hand, I see why he reacted like that. Because it's like this is gonna be my child. You know what I'm saying? I wanna, you know, I wanna be there for my child. But then on the other hand, they froze all my damn account. 
I got to get it for myself. <laughs> so I, 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 I decided, I'd call AO. Hey, bro, did you sign up? Yeah, I'm about to sign up. I'm going to go ahead and do it too. I'm going to sign up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm like, make sure you date it. Make sure you date it. <laughs> Stocks Curry, if somebody came with you with that proposition. All right, but my job lost and all that, right? Your job yeah. lost and everything. You broke. And, and that's just that's just me. To, that's them just coming to me. Yeah, I need money because you know I live a certain lifestyle. You know, you know, my, you know I like shoes and clothes hey, hey. and shit. You got to you know, you repeat it to your the circumstances to yourself so you can fully take it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? If dad came to me, like, you know what I'm saying? Two lesbians came, they needed my team at the head of baby. And I lost my job. My account was on E. And I know the type of person I am. And I know I like to shop and go out and, and shit like that. Yeah, I'm a door for him. You know what I'm saying? I need, I need that. I need that, that quick 10K right there. <laughs> so, so Miss Carter, huh? let me ask you this question. Like I said, it's, it's slightly different with you being a woman. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that was a better way of going to go ask an ex? That's one. But two, if an ex came and asked you, because it's different from man and female. If an ex came and say, look, you know, you ain't got no kids. Uh, why don't you, you know what I'm saying? Let me use, you know what I'm saying? You, like, you don't got to take care of nothing. I assume all responsibility. Do you, and you lost your job. Remember that. So it's different for a woman. So I can't carry a child, be connected to the child and, and nourish the child and then be like, huh, here you go. I just, I, I'm not built like that. I wouldn't be able to do that for, no, I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. You couldn't do it one way or another? And then it's you lost your job. No, yeah, because that's a whole human being. And then if I don't have kids, I don't uh uh I'm good. My body I'm fine the way it is, and then I gotta go through all of that for <laughs> someone else. I'm so, I'm not that given. Mm -mm. Okay, well let me let me ask you again. Let's say that somebody came to you like man, you're smart, you're beautiful. I I, I you my ex. Um, I want to use your egg and we're gonna inseminate it in my new girlfriend. She can't have kids. Would you feel? Would you still have that same feeling? I absolutely would. Why you? Why you gotta come to me? Go to the. <laughs> she can't have. She can't have kids. You that's, that's on her. Maybe y'all should adopt or something. I don't want to. No part to that. I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, then let me ask. Huh? Let me ask the fellas this, fellas. For for in order for you to uh, in order for you to actually. Uh, have a have a you know for women to actually go to a uh, sperm bank and do that they actually charge what's that uh thirty thousand dollars after hearing that they charge thirty thousand dollars do y'all feel like y'all have been short changing <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah hell i have yeah. been testing and swimming it's 30k 30, it's 30k hey is it a I sperm bank in here <laughs> Cause I'll be dropping some shit off right now. I got ah, hey, I'm healthy too, so <laughs> you might get some athletes out of this body. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm hoodwink and swindled. Hey, but I'm saying, what if you ain't lose your job just for the thirty k? Thirty k, say say, hold up, now you know the doc. The basically like somebody come look, they they charge thirty k. We gonna pay you. We gonna pay you ten. Do you still feel like it's an equal trade? Is what I'm saying. Do you have no problem with that? Say that again. <laughs> they they the doctor charged thirty thousand, but uh, they telling you they gonna pay you ten. Do you still feel like? Because the one of the reasons you gotta remember some of the reasons why they say they didn't they wasn't going to the uh they didn't want to go to a single sperm bank because you didn't know what you was getting. So, so it wasn't like they wouldn't want to pay that money. It's just we want to know what we're getting. Do you feel like you're getting cheated? Yes, I definitely feel like I'm getting cheated because now you know what you're getting. You should pay me 50 because you know what you're getting now. <laughs> you take you spend right. 30 on taking a chance. You good right here. Yeah, he got, he he got, got short in on that one. He got short in. Got, he hey, yo, you feel the same way? Yeah. You definitely getting a god when you get you... something from me, so I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need the thirty. <laughs> it's, it's the thirty for me. 
Uh, Brittany Hill <laughs> Lee said she definitely would donate an egg for money, but she definitely ain't curve one. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that for, from a woman's perspective. Well, again, at the you know, as they go on, uh, uh, you know, the woman come out fully dressed, Curry Washington come out in lingerie, and I, I was like, wow, like, oh, so the woman was shocked. She that Curry. man still. Yeah, but 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 but, yeah, but you can tell. Yeah. The the woman was shocked that Curry, uh, you know, Curry Washington wanted to have sex. I wonder, did any one of y'all, you know, Miss Siobhan, see you shaking your head. I wonder, did y'all feel like she was wrong for wanting to have sex with the uh, man instead of going the way that her lesbian friend go, Miss Carter? Was she wrong? Um, I I would say yeah because their their initial agreement was for them to you know have him, have him do it in a tube and use the turkey base like the the other one did. So when she flipped the script at the last minute, that's what I think was wrong. If they would have talked about it beforehand and then said, okay, you know, this is what I'm going to do, but the girl was caught off guard when she saw that, so she was like, oh yeah. So that's why I think it was wrong. Okay, okay, hey yo. Do you feel like she was wrong for going that route? She was wrong, but it was a good move. <laughs> she hit her with it at the last minute, so she couldn't really say no. She's like, I want it for real. Yeah, want it for yeah. real. <laughs> she said, I want it for real. I don't want that. You take it like that. I want the other thing. She, she remember what that thing was like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't care what nobody said. They, they, they. Look, that's a whole nother subject, but <laughs> it was for shit. So I don't even know if I want to even say that. But you know, they still, they still, you know, once they get it, it ain't nothing like it. So they gonna want it. She you tell, she's about to murder. She came in lingerie. She still like that man. That's why she. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that wasn't that wasn't no basic. That wasn't no basic at all. Mm -hmm. Stop scared. Stand the move right. So how you feel? You think she was cool with it? Was it a cool? Oh, was it was okay to do? For her yeah, to, um, okay to do. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, the natural way. Cause you gotta think about it. The oh, other girl that got the turkey, she got the base stuck in her, she didn't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, bitch. So she needed they needed the intercourse. See what happened. What yeah, ended up happening? She was wide open. She was wide open to yeah. that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you see what happened, Red? Oh yeah, she I see. Yeah. You see she came knocking on the door. I yeah. see. What happened? Like, she tried, the real thing. like the the other girl, she tried about like two or three times with the little base she ain't yep. getting pregnant. Yeah, she, she, got she, hit, she got pregnant. She, she had to go the traditional route. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. So no wrong play on that one. Sean said she took the cheap route. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. Of course they she paid did. the same amount, though. Huh? They paid the same amount. Who did? The two girls. So how was she taking the cheaper route? No, no. Basically, what she's saying is they took the cheaper route by paying him ten because, like I said, oh, she's talking about what we were 30. talking about before. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad, Sean. My yeah. bad, Sean. I thought she was on the question we on now. Mm -hmm. My bad. I don't. I feel. I, I, I'm with Siobhan. I feel like uh, because they talked about it and she switched her mind mid strive and she didn't just come with some sweatpants or on a sweatshirt. <laughs> What's his name? She was in full long rainbow. Yeah. She said it's a woman's yeah, She had to set the move right. Ain't nothing wrong set the move right for it. So set the move right. Paul Red. You're in the hole. Did you not hear that, Paul Red? What? It is a woman's prerogative to change her mind. And who am I <laughs> as a man donating the sperm to deny that? Change your mind. <laughs> I'm I'm her girl it. Phyllis was hurt. T.O. my girl. Yes. She, she, was 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 was. she was crushed. She was crushed. You know why she was crushed? You know why she was crushed? Like she was dressed like she was trying to get it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it, I think that was more of what it was. She, she was, was so like she was trying to get all of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was she was setting the mood for a romantic vacation. That yeah. wasn't just no no one that was in the same She was yeah. <laughs> Ben is yeah. that her ex. The girlfriend can tell, like, nah, bitch, this ain't no business. You yeah, really yeah. feel you just want to fuck this nigga again, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's the N-word, but you know. Yeah, she tricked her. She tricked her. But let me, you know, as 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 they consistent, you know, uh, continue to go on. We see that the guy played uh, by Q-tip. He actually went to a sperm bank. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, I'm going to be totally honest. I'm going to speak first. 
I always thought that was a, a selfish move. And the reason why I feel like it was a selfish move because we, you know, you got people out here that are like, oh, I really want kids. But in, in essence, you taking away like a certain experience that that kid is going to have. That kid will never have a relationship with its real father or things of that nature. Um, Stax Curry, since you was last in here, could you have ever seen, like, you know, they out here saying, you know, because it's this day and age, and we definitely got to talk about this day and age, you have uh, openly gay marriages with two women. So basically they can't have kids on their own without without a man. Could you see somebody enticing you to go, you know, the turkey baker right? Like, could you could you see somebody paying you enough to cut for them? Um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me that. Hey, how do you feel? Like <laughs> hey, they're like, hey, look, we giving up, we giving up here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Also, we giving up a G, a G four cup. <laughs> the best day ever. Okay. Here. We Let giving up a G stock four cup. Every time you come down here, you get a G stock for your cup. All right. Could you go okay. there, route? So, so when I had my alone time, where do you think it go? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I don't have no problem putting it in the cup. I don't have no problem putting it in the cup. If we're getting paid to put it in the cup, I'm putting it somewhere else for free. I'll put it in the cup for a G. But you, but this one I is totally different because it, it ain't just you putting it in the cup. You're about to put this in. This is about to go in somebody. This ain't just going to no cup. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Am I signing that waiver? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Well, yeah, I ain't worried about it. Then I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it, man. Hey, yo. Hey, I know y'all not judging me. You? Free base. <laughs> what? You judging me, Red? I'm judging all y'all. <laughs> 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 um, Free base. <laughs> Say it again. Could you put it? Could you put it? They say, man, we want a G. We just we need man, men sperm. We paying a thousand dollars for a cup of it, like you know, or for you to put it in the cup. Could you could you put it in the cup for a G? Man, I don't like those places because they don't have surround sound. So. <laughs> 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 I just feel like I'm there. <laughs> feel like hey, you need one of them VR Jones that you put on. <laughs> you know, virtual reality Miss, show. Miss no, Carter, I definitely will how do you? Up. You I'm said you fill the cup up for a yeah. thousand. Y'all some nasty. It's better, than, it's, better than <laughs> going, it's better than it going where it go now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That was too that was TMI for real. That was that was, <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Carter. Yeah, what, is, what, is, what is your feelings about women getting artificial insemination? Uh so I'm torn because I see both sides. Like I know there are some women who that's let's say that they're not in a relationship and they're single and they just haven't found someone to be in a relationship with what they want a child so i understand them desiring to do that um the on the other side though i know people who don't know who their father is and so how it impacts them so it's like it's I, i'm torn between the two because i i understand somebody desiring motherhood and just not having that opportunity but i also understand the child's perspective and not knowing, wanting to know the other half of them, and not even having that opportunity. So it's it's tough. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 right there. I, I'm thinking about the child. I'm thinking about the impact that uh not having your father around like has on the child. I just feel like that plays a part, in my opinion. So yeah. I would I more so would be totally against it, even for the thousand dollars. And hey. I got kids out here. You don't know hey. who those for, for the men who have kids. Y'all don't know if them kids end up meeting y'all kids. Like, <laughs> <laughs> y'all ever think about that? Did we ever think about that? That's some fucked up shit. Yeah, that'd be fucked up. That's fucked up. Hey, but what's some real shit though, Red? On some real stuff? Oh, you I don't like real? how you and Siobhan. No, I don't like how you and Siobhan is agreeing with each other too much. <laughs> I need some discord. <laughs> we ain't got to the whole show yet. We, might yeah, we ain't oh, we right, agree with each other so much. On, let's get through, let's get through the good parts. <laughs> nah, now, but, as as he, you know, he end up having uh, you know, he end up going through a bunch of women, nineteen to be exact. Mm -hmm. So we end up going through all these women. And it got to a part where he, I guess, I don't know if he had a moral compass or 
he just got tired of the whole situation. Now he ended up having a car situation and he ended up, you know, just end up stopping. Now you done already impregnated 19 women. Do y'all feel like it was a little uh you know, like hey, you you already impregnated 19 women, what's five more? Like, do you feel like he should have kept going? What you how you feel, T? Personally, I feel like he was about to have a damn heart attack. <laughs> you see how much Red Bull this yeah. nigga was drinking? And when he go and eat pills in a second, he probably was damn dog tired. He probably had no moral compass. He was tired. The nigga's tired. And then he was having sex with all these different type of women. He probably don't even like having the women he's sleeping with. Probably not attracted to them. That shit have basketball. That's, 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 that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. And then you see that last bunch like Siobhan said, he probably like, fuck, no, I give up. Hell no, nah, my time is done. Hell uh, no. Dax Curry, do you feel like he should have just kept going? Like, when I right, we'll get these out of the way and let's 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 worry about that next time. Yeah, I think he was already up already. He ain't really care for real to me. I think he had <laughs> to do him and take care of what he take care of. But di- but the only is right, that last bus was horrible. One of the bitches looked like a, a fat man. I told him yeah. that. <laughs> like, like you seen that shit. But then you gotta think about how the movie ended. He Jai like was like still communicating with these women. So hell no. Five yeah, they breached the contract uh-uh. anyway. They, they breached the contract anyway with that shit. Well, I, I don't feel like they breached the contract. I feel like they we we still could just because I need think about that goes right with what I just said. I need for y'all to know each other. It's 19 of these folks all around the same age. They are, yeah. So you, hey, yo, you, huh? I'm about to say, so you, you just quiet. You, you would have kept going. Hey, okay. yo, <laughs> yeah, you, you on it like you thinking, like you might keep going. No, because I'm about to tell you what I do. This is what I do. I would have made about a hundred million dollars before I quit. <laughs> Why not keep going? Nineteen. I told you you wanted to keep going. And then stop. And then they had a break after that. I'd had wings already. He was drinking enough Red Bull to get it. (laughs) (laughs) That old bullshit. (laughs) Miss that nigga hot going bust. Miss Carter, did you feel some type of way that he ain't just finish off the last five? You got nineteen kids. Help the women out. No, I think he should have been stopped. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Know. And what number? And what number? Like, and what number? After the first two, that was enough. Don't don't start bringing all these women in here doing that. Like, I just uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-oh, hey, uh-oh. He, they gonna have a part two, and he gonna be sponsored by Red Bull. Because <laughs> he, he was even his sperm was tired. You saw how the sperm was wheezing uh-huh. to, the, to the finish line. He was tired. That's too much on one person. Like they had pimped him out for real. I just don't think he should. They, they definitely pimped him out. Yeah, I guess in in my I feel like he should have. I'm I'm with Siobhan. If I would have if I would have done my ex. Uh, and and her girlfriend, I definitely wasn't. I'm what I don't think I could have been the like the little whore. Like <laughs> I, 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 me personally, I just my mold compass when it comes to kids. I, I think I had a problem with it. <laughs> but just like you know, Siobhan said, you know, they pimped him out, quote unquote, mm-hmm. and he ended up like uh, going to jail for it at one time. Um, T, do you feel like he was committing a crime? Hell no. <laughs> the Lord made Adam and Eve. Or they said he, was, he was prostituting. I mean, did somebody snitch on him? How you get caught? I forgot how he got caught. There's nobody snitched on him. He's just yeah, he just had to He's just a player. He's a player. He's a goat. He was a goat. He was a goat. He wasn't prostituting. He was goating. That's what he was doing. He was goating. You want to yeah, convict me because I'm going? You mad? No, yeah. I'm going to you. you not. You hating. That's all that was. Miss Carter. I thought he got arrested for, uh... Oh, go ahead. He was absolutely he was committing a crime. He was getting money for sex. That man was, he was committing a crime. Yeah, that's prostitution to me. Unless he was, it was donations. Nevada. <laughs> if it was illegal in Nevada, then it wasn't a crime. But because they were... Like, would you like to donate $10,000 for these services? They can do that. They can do that. Mm-mm. Use the word nice donation. Turn. You good? How you feel? Like, do you feel like the man was committing the crime? Now nah, he wasn't committing no crime at all. 
He was doing his thing. Getting paid. <laughs> of course you don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. You said that with confidence. Hey yo, did you? <laughs> say hey yo, do you feel like the man was committing the crime while he was up there screwing all the women for ten thousand dollars? No, mm. when I paused the movie and I and I zoomed in, I read the contract. There was no crime being. <laughs> <laughs> what the contract said, hey yo? What did it say? <laughs> They said, they said this is not probably this is an app with a donation. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you give out donations, it's not a crime. <laughs> At all. I mean, it's just a was, generous that was, donation. <laughs> that was that was part of it. That was part of so y'all didn't so basically y'all didn't see anything wrong with nothing he was doing. Y'all felt like he, he was in jail for it. Yeah, it was, huh? He was making a living, Red. That man could have out there on the street, homeless. He had to do what he had to do to survive. This he is had, a story about survival. He had a survival. mother and daddy to go home to. He did. This is yeah. a story about survival, okay? <laughs> in the wheel, in the heart, to help <laughs> others and do what's right. That's what he was doing. You got to look at it from that side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He helping others. Mm -hmm. if, that's, if that's the route y'all want to whistle. He was helping his <laughs> one one day. <laughs> helping now, others. As they as they continue on to the movie, after he had uh, all nineteen of the goddamn kids, you know, I, you know, basically, you know, at the end, he started to have a bond with the uh, had a bond with the two, well, the two by his ex and his girl, and then he Alex ended up, Fatima. you know, huh? Alex and Fatima. Oh yeah, Fatima. Why you know their names? Okay, so he's supposed to remember. <laughs> So they were sexy so, too. So, <laughs> so he ended up having the, he ended up having a relationship with them. So they end oh, up uh, oh. he end up basically going going to uh, the Curry Washington Fatima. He end up going to talk to her, and he basically you know, I guess he basically enticed her to say, "Look, I'm trying to be in a a poly am amateur <laughs> like polyamorous poly yeah. polyamorous relationship." Do y'all feel like he was just being slick? Like, you know, he was still in love with her, or he just, you know, he seen the bigger picture. Was it was it really about family? Or he just like he was just being, I guess he was like, hey, look, I'm I'm y'all both y'all baby daddies. Let let me in. <laughs> Miss Carter, how you feel? <laughs> Is that I feel, I feel like he was in love with Fatima. And so and and she had his child and the other girl had his child so it's like i think he just wanted to be there like he said they were what did he say something about his his way of of getting back all the stuff he, he felt like he was wrong so this was his way of i guess compensating for what he did let me at least be a father to these two you know and let me be in y'all life so i i think it was some type of guilt you know and just wanting to morally right his wrongs okay hey yo how you feel? You feel like he was just being a little cool ball, like like man, I'm I'm chasing his booty, like or he was really just getting the connection with the kid, like you know. I feel like he loved his ex wife, and she loved the other girl, and and for her loving, he like if you love her, then you'll love me too, because mm. she loves me, and you can yeah. see the love for each other. She he, she saying it too. And she was like, we ain't gonna get past this. I'm gonna go ahead to take this one on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> T, how do you feel? First of all, let me say, I know a friend who almost pulled this move off. My, I, I know a friend who almost pulled this move off. It was a goat move, he almost pulled off. It didn't work out the same way, but all the money out. That's what I'm gonna say, first of all. <laughs> secondly, secondly, <laughs> secondly I, I agree with Siobhan and Ayo. I feel like he was just, I don't feel like he was trying to be slick or get more booty because I, I feel like he had enough. <laughs> um, I feel like, like I said, I feel like him and Curry Washington actually still had had a vibe going on. So he was still, in, he was more so, he was more in love with Curry than she was with him, I'll mm -hmm. say. But at the same time, the feelings were still there. And like Ayo said, she felt like if if you love me and I love him, you're going to be able to deal with both of us. You know what I'm saying? And they like, shit, we done already had sex and we got a kid together. Let's just do it. Mm -hmm. And that's how it went down. That's how I feel about it. Okay. Stacks, how you feel about it? 
And like she said, they both loved each other. You know what I'm saying? They still wanted to be with each other. Curry said she loved the pussy. She loved pussy too. She loved him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, he loved Curry. He said, man, he just we gonna bring this man. This my girlfriend. So you going you go ahead and accept her too if you accept me. So you know what I'm saying? Everybody at the end of the day, she just got an extra bitch right now. That's all it is. I feel like I they feel the same way. Other. I feel like it's equally love. One of the questions that I, I kind of pass because I doodle on my uh, doodle on my paper. One of the questions that was like, I felt like this was a question that need to be asked. <laughs> but I feel like it's definitely going to be the difference between all of us. Oh. Now, early, like a, a part of the movie at first, you know, we found out, you know, Curry Washington was his, uh, his ex, Fatima. Fat Fatima. She was his ex. And then they end up showing that clip when he actually Walked in and caught her. Uh, <laughs> he actually walked in and caught her. Uh, you know, doing her thing with the with Woo! the, the that she found. <laughs> oh, hey yo, what? I guess you gotta go first. You <laughs> really That's okay. What's your question? What, what would have been your? Huh? I'm about to tell you. Oh, what would have been your reaction had you walked in with your girl? And she, you know, she was in the home and you caught her in a homosexual with another woman. What would have been your reaction? Honestly, the join. <laughs> I'd have got out of the took my gloves off and got ready. Because <laughs> obviously you knew I was coming home. <laughs> <laughs> who, who else got a key? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just let me real. <laughs> you didn't think he was gonna get in? <laughs> he walked right in. He walked right in. <laughs> no he problem. Right in. They ain't showing him jumping in the window or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right I'm going right in. I'll just be like, well, good night. <laughs> I'm getting ready for the party. Because I'm the party, and I wasn't invited till late. <laughs> Stacks Curry. How would you have felt you walked in on your girl having uh in the homosexual, you know, making or uh, having sex? Would they say, you know, with another woman? I would have jumped on board. I would have been that shit. Like, why you ain't tell me? You got <laughs> if you so interested in her, you know what I'm saying? Don't man, say, man, yeah, you find, I say, man, like that was my my wife, my fiance. She said she is a girl. She found she I got a girl for it. Yeah, I'm with that shit. But you know what I'm saying? I felt the character, as uh, Anthony Maggie said, you ain't, you ain't give him a choice to choose that shit. Like, if he wanted that, that type of relationship, like, if my wife was, like, into girls, too, like, you just would have her back and did your own thing. Like, you ain't let me know or whatever. Like, what, what I could have been all with this shit. Well, I would never would have been with this shit. You never know as, as that character. But as me, I would have been with it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You right. T. <laughs> What the hell is going on between the sheep in my home? I'd have been like, oh, oh, what's going on? I just got all hurt too. I was talking about it must be my birthday. You know my birthday is the 31st, right? But I'm doing something now. Matt, hey, I'm hey, doing it with the anniversary gift. I'm doing the engagement gift. Huh? So, um, good for me. <laughs> I'm glad because, of course, as a man, I'm glad because, of course, as a man, I'm I'm like oh okay let me get my life oh okay okay but see now we talking it's the four homeboys but <laughs> you gotta see what you gonna say hey Miss Carter <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's what's my question you say <laughs> you walked in with your man <laughs> all, you all, all the guests what. Wait, what? I don't what? know her. Nah, nah, no, 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 Pleasing your woman better than you can. Oh, do you think you can take that as a man? You don't think your pride to be hurt? How do you feel about that? How no. you how you feel? Do you feel like you can take that? Do you feel like the next day, if your girl let leave me, you with this woman, how you gonna feel as a man? Let me tell you this. Because that's what happened to him. 
Let, 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 me, let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. I, me as a man, I don't feel if if here's the thing, and the reason why I wouldn't have got upset. If you end up having sex with another woman, obviously you have a certain desire that as a man, I can't give you. So mm -hmm. I can't be, I'm not going to say I'm lacking because she's mm -hmm. a woman, because she's giving you something that I can't give. You know what I'm saying? So cheating with a man, you basically yeah. say, Reggie, yeah. you lacking. I got you. you. Yeah. But cheating yeah. with a woman, it's like, you ain't lacking. She got a different desire. Y'all mm, wanted to get right? that question. Like she had to what, answer. Too. What is my question? What is my question though? You talking about if I walk in man. on my man with another man? <laughs> no, 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 time out. No, 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 time out. No, no, time out. 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 The question would be that the question would be her with another woman, her man walked in. Like, how would she have to like you basically saying if she gay? <laughs> you, you like what? Like that. I, don't like, I don't like that. That's why she shouldn't even answer mean. the question. <laughs> she could have answered. Okay, the give her input. Give her input. Like, uh, yeah, it ain't gonna. Yeah, I can't even say that. No way around with. with yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. yeah, I can't. No, it's no. nothing I can say. No, I don't want to yeah. see it. Uh, uh, no. Mm -mm. It, it, it's all all of that would have caused all of that would have caused the problem it, it doesn't matter like we, we already know it's a double standard on how men view homosexuality and uh, heterosexual men see homosexuality when it comes to women and heterosexual women see homosexuality when it comes to a man it ain't like we all know then I, I, I'm gonna be honest I was in a group one time where a woman actually told me she preferred that her man be back which mm. blew me away where I was like Okay, yeah, that's strange, but that was her preference, which I was like, okay, that's, that's what you so that's why I, that's why I felt like that question should be asked. Because some of we 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 assume a lot by what we think. We're gonna so answer the question, man. He what? said answer the question. How would you have felt? <laughs> if, if what? If I was in the bed with another woman? No. If you would have came in and your man was in the bed nah. with another man. No, no. fuck no. Hell no. No, nah. fuck no. Answer, answer, the the question. Question. Just, answer the question like you said first, Siobhan. Fuck with Reza Avery talking about. Oh, so the question I, like if you I said. was with the woman, what? And he would have mm -hmm. walked in? Yeah. I, I wouldn't oh, yeah. I didn't, I wouldn't have wanted him to join in. I was doing what I was doing. What I don't want you in here. That's the good. Okay. Have, now, <laughs> now, how would y'all feel if your girl tell you no? This is just for me. This is a, a thing for you. How would y'all feel about that now? I would, do, I would do what Anthony Mackie did. Kick, almost, kick her out. The girl. Kick her out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, kids. What you saying, Miss Carter? She was almost. She had almost reached the orgasm, and then he coming in messing things up. She was almost where she needed to be at. So it's like you, <laughs> you ain't getting this shit without me. Y'all in, in my house, y'all in my house, in my bed, and you <laughs> all you almost dead. You almost about to go outside to your damn Uber. Yeah, yeah. You ain't getting this in my house. Do this. So you telling me so now since we you you cross that threshold, so you telling me that if he had walked in and you feel like they was getting all it was rude on his part to try to join in and you yeah, cheated. I didn't want I didn't invite him into this. I didn't say hey, I got a situation for us. No, in no. my house, I beg your pardon. You ain't supposed to be here in this our house. We so, both live here. So what if you walk in and your dude doing it to a girl, another woman? Yeah, we're gonna have some problems. It's, I'm gonna feel the same <laughs> way. That you feel. I'm gonna feel the same way. You what know. are you gonna do? Tell me, tell me exactly. I don't what you're even know. Do. I don't even I'm I'm, fancy you know, I'm to be, you can't you really you can't I, really know unless you're in that situation. Yeah, I think, like, that, I think that's react. also true. Yeah, I think that's also true. I think we all say we are gonna whoop somebody. Yeah, but I think in in those situations, your mind goes yeah, other places. I don't, I don't know. Okay, but let's you know we at the end of the podcast where we actually do our ratings. So let's go from a uh, uh, scale of one to ten. Siobhan, how predictable was the movie from a scale of one to ten? Huh, I don't think it was that predictable. So I would say like maybe a. A two? I didn't know what was gonna happen. Well, well, ten actually being not not predictable. One oh, actually yeah. being very predictable. 
Yeah, I would say like a 10. I didn't I didn't see what was coming. Hey yo, on the scale of one to ten, how predictable um, was it? I think it was a ten too, because I didn't know he was gonna be such a bitch. <laughs> 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 Dude, I got like a bitch off the whole the beginning of the movie. Still crying about her. She <laughs> crying about getting girls pregnant for ten thousand dollars a pop. My talk, you guys. Hey, hey, hey! You he was so. Much I'm a, uh, there, hold up, hold up, hold up! Did you just say love stronger than money? To hell! Who the That's fuck is that? Your I'm man starts crying. He's a rat. Yeah, like, he's a rat. Not nah, stop. Care about the <laughs> nigga, the nigga, like, he's he's Listen, first of all, <laughs> you gotta look at him as a man, Keith. He's a rat. I'm looking like at the character father. in the film. I'm looking at yeah, the character so, in the film. So, You're so, speaking as if he was real. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I give it. A, I give it a ten because I felt like it was two movies in one. Because mm. like it felt like two different stories, two storylines. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a 10. Well, yes, because we didn't touch more on, you know, we didn't touch that much on actually what he was going through when it came to his job. Stock Curry, mm -hmm. on a scale of one to 10, 10 being unpredictable, you know, one being very predictable. What you give it? I give it like an eight, though. I give it an eight. Okay. I give it a 10. I didn't, I didn't see what was coming. I didn't see all of the stuff because it didn't have been pods in there about the dude running into the crime ball family. And things of that nature. So I actually, I actually will give it a ten. Okay, on the scale of one to ten, hey yo, let's go with you first. How good was the acting? I feel like acting plays a major part when it comes to any movie, especially a drama. How good was the acting? One being, bad. one being terrible. Ten being they was real good actors. I think it was a ten because a white man couldn't have played in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to throw that out there. The white man could have did that. Nineteen babies, he'd have went crazy. Nineteen babies. <laughs> T yeah. on the scale of one to ten, how good acting? First of all, a white man could have did that because he would have inheritance and trust. But it was a movie kids. though. Uh, it's, a, people, it's a movie like that, this though. Something. Hold on, Keith. Hold on, Keith. Something that black people aren't afforded. You know what I'm saying? So they would have been all right. Them nineteen kids would have been good. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, I give the I give the acting a ten. The acting I the give the acting they all they all play their roles well. I give it a ten. Stack Curry acting. on the scale yeah, of the one to ten. It's ten. Yeah, everybody ten. acting well. Yeah, I like the actor in this film. Siobhan, on the scale of one to ten, how good was the acting? I give it a ten, especially the different ladies and seeing the different the way mm. that they portray themselves. Yeah, I give it a ten. Yeah. Okay, T. On the scale of one to ten, how good was the storyline? Ten being about ten being real good, one being real bad. How good was the story? Well, being honest with everybody who watching, <laughs> after this podcast and having this discussion, I would give the storyline a nine. I do feel like it was two different storylines, but after discussing it with everybody and going back and looking at everything and dissecting it, I'll give it a nine. Okay. Siobhan, on the scale of one to ten, how good was the storyline? I will give it a 10. I think Spike Lee did pretty good with this one. Yeah, I give okay. it a 10. Okay. Stacks, here the one to 10. How good was the storyline? Nah, 10. I like the storyline. I like the concept, the little uh, hidden gems in there. They had like a, a real, real life actors, like like the model G was in there. Uh, the dude that stopped the, uh, the Nixon thing. You know what I'm saying? I like the other little inputs in it. They had, you know what I'm saying, about the story. Okay. That's what's up. Hey, yo, scale of one to 10, how good was the storyline? It was okay. A guy getting paid $10 a pop to get there. <laughs> That's all he cared about. You seen the big muscle chain that took it? Huh? <laughs> he made them work for that 10000 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all WNBA joints, too. All, all yeah, league. Yeah, man. yeah. I give it, I, I think the storyline was great. I, I, I liked it. Crazy movie, but I enjoy y'all view on the movie. Thanks, Keisha. That's what uh, Miss Lakeisha said. She thought hey, it was Ray. a bad movie. My daughter actually told me. I was me. about to, now. I, you know, I said I agree with Keisha on that. With Lakeisha on that, because I said after discussing it with y'all, it made my view of the movie change. 
to me before I told you I didn't like the movie. Yeah. But I was like talking about everything is it's it seems way better. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay. Last but not least, on the rating, from the scale of one to ten, how good was the movie? Stacks Courage. Ten, it was a good movie. I thought I liked the movie. Okay. It was great. I like it. Okay. T, scale of one to ten, how good was the movie? Eight. I give it eight. eight. Ooh, yeah, man, eight, eight. Where? 18 out of 50. <laughs> On the scale of one to ten, Siobhan, how good was the movie? I give it a ten. It was good. It must see. But you, gotta, you gotta be open minded though, because it'll take you. Yeah, you're gonna be drawn in. You're gonna be drawn in off bucket because of the fucking. <laughs> I do ask everybody. I got something to tell you too. I do ask everybody. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, yo. I ain't even give up our must see at the beginning. I apologize about that. We was kind of running behind. Hey, yo. On the scale of one to ten, how good was the uh, how good was the uh, the movie? It definitely was a ten. Uh, this is a must see movie. It, it draws you in. I watched it all week. Getting my bed. It, it was a good movie. <laughs> okay. Well, I actually thought it was a real good movie. So uh, amongst the podcast, amongst the group, we actually give it like an eight. Now, this movie came out July 30, 2004. They actually had a budget of eight million, but the movie in box office made a whopping $1.5 million. Really? Right. Tomato yeah. gave it a 19. Yeah, box office was yeah. terrible. Yeah, I box office gave it the terrible. So I basically, see that like, initially. <clears throat> Basically, but you gotta look like at the time it came out, two thousand four, mm-hmm. and they wasn't no I mean, They wasn't yeah. Yeah, yeah. people. Can I say like, this it though? It in two thousand. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna write Spike me an email because <laughs> when he showed when he showed them children being born and he showed them coming out the coochie, it did oh, yeah. me. I don't. We I'm not standing. In, I'm not standing in the room when when my baby mother has. Because if it looked like that, I don't want yeah, no problem. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah, he look. was like, I, he was all in the coochie with that. the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, there was no discretion. He okay. was through the camera, was right there. No discretion. I was like, what the hell? That's we gotta like, something like that. Okay, okay. We got to wrap this up. We got to wrap this up, man. Thanks for everybody being on tonight. We want to say bye to our special guest, Ms. Siobhan Carter. And this right one Miss Carter actually has her own podcast on, you know, she's the you relationship coach. So if anybody wanted to follow your own podcast, where can they find you at? Yep. So I have a podcast called What's the Situation? It's on Spotify. It's on um, Amazon. I'm an Apple podcast. I do Wednesday relationship talks uh, every Wednesday. Well, not every Wednesday, but Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Um, so they can follow me on Instagram, Siobhan M. Carter, Facebook, Siobhan Carter, all that. And she's actually a uh, publisher, uh, an author. She actually wrote, how many books have you wrote? I've written two. Yeah, two. two books. She yeah. actually, uh, you help, uh, which your, your public company actually help people, new people write books also? Absolutely. Um, I published five, got four more in the works. So it's going to be a really busy year, but I'm excited about it. So if you're looking to write a book, hit me up. Yeah. I yeah, got so somebody I want to work with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely do. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, Sharon actually uh, applauded out. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So Siobhan. next week. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. So next week, we actually reviewing the movie Justice League. Mm-hmm. It's actually a. Uh, uh, it's actually a. Uh, uh, a what? The Snyder's edition. The Snyder's yeah. edition. You know, so Justice we actually reviewing Justice League. League next week if y'all want to join us next week for our podcast or if y'all got a movie suggestion and y'all actually want to be a uh a guest with us you know hit us up give us our give y'all you know uh movie suggestions and we can actually kick it and talk about it you know we got to wrap this up because we we running real low on time you know but thanks for everybody for joining us thanks for y'all comments you know see y'all next week bye see y'all next week